Hi everyone, welcome to Cologne Compounding, where our mission is to learn from others in order to achieve financial independence. In today's video, we'll be looking at seven key lessons from the books, podcasts, interviews, and lectures of Monish Babrai. For those who may not know, Monish is a well-known value investor and managing partner of Bob Rye Funds, a hedge fund that invests in companies across the globe. He's also the author of two best-selling books on investing, The Dando Investor and Mosaic, Perspectives on Investing. He is an ardent disciple of Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger and their style of investing. In 2008, he, along with Guy Spear, won the lunch auction with Warren Buffett for $650,000. That lunch led him to his interactions with Charlie Munger, who has been a mentor and a friend to Monish. Monish has been extremely successful in investing and freely sharing his knowledge and learnings in many interviews and podcasts. We'll be looking at seven selected lessons from these interactions. Before we start, if you're interested in this topic, please smash that like button so that others can find this video as well. Now, let's dive into the seven key lessons on investing that we can learn from Monish's experience. Number one, aim for low risk and high return. Being an entrepreneur first and an investor later in life, Monish says that entrepreneurs are great at dealing with uncertainty and are also very good at minimizing risk. So he has always been an investor who thinks like an entrepreneur playing on the safe side. Monish says that the deals you make should like heads I win and tails I don't lose much. So the risk and reward should be structured such that if I win, I will win big. But if I lose, I will lose very little. Monish uses the Gujarati word dando, which means endeavors that create wealth. In the context of investing, he's referring to high return business ventures with low downside risk. These are businesses where even if things go wrong, you can still make money. Dando investors don't try to be clever or outsmart anybody. They simply buy businesses with a margin of safety. They pay a low enough price that if they're wrong, they won't lose much. If they're right and the market eventually realizes it, there are plenty of upsides. Number two, investing is about watching paint dry. Two of the most famous quotes from Monish are, number one, the single biggest advantage a value investor has is not IQ, it's patience and waiting. Waiting for the right pitch and waiting for many years for the right pitch before swinging. Number two, investors need to be like Buddy from the TV series Seinfeld. They need to love watching paint dry. Letting your investments grow through compounding can make you a lot of money. The reason investors don't get the full value of compounding is that every time the stock goes up, their mind starts playing games with them. The stock that was a small part of the portfolio suddenly becomes a big part and invokes fear or greed. This can cause you to make all sorts of mistakes, like selling after a huge rise in price. According to Monish, you don't make money when you buy stocks and you don't make money when you sell stocks. You make money by waiting. Number three, nothing teaches you better than mistakes. One does not learn much from success. Monish says that mistakes are the best teachers. It's important to learn from other people's mistakes, but the learning gets much more firmly into your brain when it's your own mistakes. Being an investor, you need to accept your mistakes whenever you face a downfall in the stock market. Even the best investors will likely be successful only one half to one third of the time. One of the key things that can help you succeed in the stock market is your positive attitude toward learning from your mistakes. You should analyze your downfalls and other people's downfalls to understand what was missed in the analysis and include that in your checklist to find the right investment. Number four, stay in your circle of competence. According to Monish, the only way one should buy stocks is if one understands the underlying business. You must stay within the circle of competence. You must only buy businesses you understand. Also, Moni says that you will only truly learn and understand about the business when you own the stock. 
The best investors look at a company and assess its competitive advantage, also called moat, by analyzing what business it's in, how it operates, what efficiencies exist, etc. Many people still buy stocks of companies that they don't understand or have not analyzed. Number 5. Always, always use a checklist before buying stocks. According to Monish, everyone should be using a checklist, a list of questions to run through while analyzing companies. This will help one to avoid many mistakes and focus on what matters. In his book, The Dando Investor, Monish listed a set of questions to investigate stocks. For example, how does management spend shareholder capital? Do you feel confident to invest your maximum finance in this stock? Does this stock contain low risk? If yes, how much downside does it contain? Number 6. The best approach to investing is to focus on multi-baggers. According to Monish, he says, It took me a long time to figure this out, that if there is such a thing as a best approach to investing, I think it would be one where one focuses on multi-baggers. These are businesses that can be a 10x in 10 years or less, or maybe a 100x in 20 years or less. If one focused purely on the multi-baggers, there are some advantages that can come up with that approach. The first advantage is the terms of taxes. Since you're holding businesses for a very long time, your profit is not yet taxed and you get an advantage of a sort of tax-free loan. Second advantage is that you don't have this continuous treadmill of needing to find something undervalued. Then it gets fairly valued and then you sell it and then you go and look for something else. So the multi-bagger approach to investing has a few quirks and it requires us to kind of change our mindset on a few fronts. Number 7. Find opportunities during market crisis. According to Monish, market crashes and financial crises are a time to buckle down and go to work. The opportunities arise when the stock price goes down, but there is no change in the actual business value. He says that investors should not panic or lose confidence during a crisis. Most of the greatest fortunes are made during crises. It's a time when nobody wants to do anything. But if you have money, you can make a fortune by buying great businesses at discounts. For now, that's it from us. Hope you enjoyed and learned from these lessons and let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching, smash that like button and subscribe for more.